<laughs> okay, I uh, I'm going to play the ad break. I'll see you guys at the start of the game. I'll see you guys in a bit. Twelve boobas later. <sighs> I'm gonna grab some water. Wait, why did I accept that? Oh, now I can't get water. Why did I accept that? Everybody wants the tier now. One out of nine cast it. No, I'm never playing Protector Reroll ever again. Oh my, Protector Reroll. Sheesh! But I do have a Yordle. I do have a good Yordle. So small. Woo. Woo. I'm actually on for Featherweights. Okay, I'm gonna hold Yordles and Protectors. Welcome back, everybody. It might actually be a Protector Reroll game. If I hit like a two star Garen casted in, I'm down. Because Protector Reroll, the entire comp is one and two stars. So Featherweights is like huge, although it's Featherweights one, which is not that big of a deal. I think Featherweights three is like, okay, you just go Protector Reroll and win the game. Alright, that's what we get. Ew. Okay, well at least there's a Yordle. One, two, three, four, five. I cannot make econ. So I'll hold on to it for one more round. Let's get cracking. Okay, a surprisingly good carry once you have featherweights is Tristana. Cause Tristana like needs an attack speed item, a damage item, and then a defense item. But now she only needs an attack item and a defense item. Ooh, it's Yordle on Yordle action, flush. Poppy on Tristan. Oh. Where would you rank this set compared to other sets? In terms of design, this is probably like the best design. This is probably the best made set TFT has ever seen. And then set four is probably the next best one. I can do this. Uh, let me think. Do I, this, this is my chance. Do I want to switch to protector reroll? Let me see what the- what it'll look like. So, if I sell, I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I can make Econ. No, I'm, I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell. I think Protector Reroll is badge. My items aren't very good for it either. Yep. Uh, what am I gonna do with, with my items? Okay, I'm just gonna play regular Yordles, but I'm gonna throw away every three cost Yordle and then just play the two costs, the one and two costs. We can play Tristana carry for now. Give her the 30% attack speed boost. This Featherweight should like carry me through the early game. This probably saves so much HP. Is Kog'Maw good with Featherweights? Yes, he's very good with it. If I hit this Kog'Maw earlier, I would have played it. But I'm already committed to my new comp. If, literally, like, if I had this bef one round earlier, I would have played it. But at this point, it is too late because I've already sold everything. Uh, what item do I want here? Okay. One item becomes really valuable, I can think of, when, uh, when you have Featherweights. It's the Stactic Shiv. By my calculations. Hot on the trail. Hmm. I think I'm down to just go for a win streak. Have you played Assassin's this set? I mean, I've done I've done Akali a few times, flush, uh, but I don't really like it. I, I didn't really enjoy it. 
It felt kind of dirty, honestly. Akali feels super cheesy. It's like Fiora on crack in terms of like the untarget ability. I missed your sub? Oh shit. I have to give out another free car. Congratulations on your free car, sir. Ooh, a bitch crank. Okay, I'm pretty sure this static shift Caitlyn is gonna carry me like for a very long time. I literally have all ones. It's the Caitlyn Yordle daycare. I feel like I've seen this before. The daycare where it's just like one two star Caitlyn and then a bunch of random one stars. Hello, Byron. Thank you for the prime. If you're giving cars or miss subs, you owe me seven cars. That is a lot of cars. Please help yourself to any of the cars on the left. Uh, not the ones on the right, those are still under construction. Uh, over here we have Tesla Cybertrucks, uh, Priuses, and regular Tesla's Model S's. Oh, actually, we're out of Priuses. You'll have to take the Tesla, sorry. Dude, I'm actually like really strong. I'm actually really strong. What's going on? Featherweight's broken? I'm like 40 gold, wind streaking, and yordles. I'll settle for one Tesla, don't want to bankrupt you. That's very nice of you. Uh, but don't worry, I'm not paying for the Teslas. Uh, what you need to do is you need to just go walk into the Tesla shop and just be like, yeah, you owe me this. Uh, trust me, trust me, it'll work, it'll work. Hello, Kernon. Can you please restock the Priuses? This is outrageous. <laughs> we, we have been restocking it. I don't know what you want me to do. They just, people keep taking them. You miss one sub and someone's like, oh my God, a Prius. Okay, my icon's crazy this game. Featherweight's broken. All right, we put Ziggs in the middle with the belt in case he rolls a Zeke's or a Trap Claw. Ooh, Trap Claw. I missed the Louisville. I uh, didn't miss much. The, the server crashed and we had to stop. Although it recently got fixed, so we might go back in. And he said she had to soft reset the server, which is a little sad because I think we might lose a lot of our materials. Don't worry, I am here. Ew! What a bad social aid spot. How am I winning? This cray cray. How are we winning? I have such bad units. Do I beat this chicken boy Henry guy? I think I will. Pog. Pog! All right, bring it on chicken boy Henry. I'm telling you, I win. Because I have Yordle snipe. Wait, this guy's Yordle snipers. Okay, I'm telling you, Caitlyn is hotter than this fortune, and this battle will prove it. This battle will prove who's the sexiest sniper of them all, and it's always going to be Caitlyn. Miss Fortune's hotter than Caitlyn. By my calculations. Socialite heart. The socialite spot's right here. It's pretty bad. Who can go into that socialite spot? No, nah, no, nah, don't think about that, Albert. Let's go, um... Can I use Socialite Heart? I'm down to take it and try, because I think these other ones are really garbage. Okay, uh, I'm honestly debating doing that. <laughs> Is that Troll? Oh my god, my Ziggs rolled a trap claw to block the, <laughs> the Blitzcrank grab. Nice snipe. They yeah, reverse sniper value. I think the socialite trumps the sniper value though. Also, my Caitlyn feels very safe here. She'll only die if Blitzcrank dies first. Why are Yodel so important in the beginning? Because they generate one to three gold every turn, which is a lot of money early game. 
It is like ridiculous how much value that it is early game. This is so many swords, and I definitely do not want a sword. Uh, I want a tier. Oh, fuck. Oh. No! I didn't think about it in time. This is going to combine onto my Leona, isn't it? Rally to me. I, recommend skipping. I might actually slam a Zeke's. What am I going to do with so many swords? Uh, Zeke's value is like really low, actually. Uh, we'll just hold on to everything for now. Fuck, I really should have taken that glove. That glove was actually pretty good. That's my fault for not noticing the Braum. This guy's Shaco just kicked my ass. Are you going for three star Trist? Nope. Do not make my hammer madge. Dude, I always forget about the assassin tax. Lose so much money for or lose so much HP for that. Alright. I think we're just chilling here. Uh I have like insanely good econ. I'm level 750 gold here. That's like really rare. Uh the reason for this is because I high rolled Yordles. I like literally just RNG'd better than my opponents. I got a lot of Heimers early, which is like 3 gold instead of 1. So my Yordle trait has generated like twice as much as other people's Yordle traits. Not only that, but I got a good early game augment. Alright. I can sack 1 and then level. I can have first dibs. Yeah, sack 1, level, I'll have like 30 or 40 gold to roll. I can start building my comp. Do you think Yordles will be nerfed? It's really hard to nerf Yordles without completely destroying it. They tried to nerf Yordles earlier by making it so you more likely get one cost, and now, like, now look at what we did. Now we just get Poppy 3 every game. Well, not this game, but a lot of games we get Poppy 3, and, like, we're even stronger. Was it really a nerf? Next time, oh, good items. Let me think about this. I want to wait and see what my items are before I, I go for it. I have a QSS. I have a QSS Morellos. And then... Zeke's. Do you want to slam your Morellos? Uh, it's a one I don't have a good Morellos user, so not, not right now. I'm going to level up next round. All right, let's level up, see what we get. A one-star Kai'Sa is good enough for me. I'll, I'll just like immediately start building around a one-star Kai'Sa because I'll have three socialite easily. Uh, Seraphine Ori is easy as well. I don't think I'd play Jin here. Holy fast pivot. Okay, now we just need to build our support network. Dude, that was crazy. I actually like got all my pieces, or most of them. Yeah, that was like a that was a pog transition. Uh, I need to somehow keep my Kaisa alive. Oh shit! Shouldn't have sold that blitz. Don't worry, I am here. 
metal is harder than black. The storm approaches. Okay. Something like this. Wait, this is actually so good. Uh, the only problem is my items are a little grief. What am I gonna build on this Kaisa? I actually like like GA over QSS here. GA basically always gives Kaisa a second chance. QSS, she could still just like randomly get targeted by someone and die. Would you slam Zeke's here? No, Zeke's is like really bad value. I feel like the only time Zeke's is good is when you have three people who all need attack speed. Everyone can kind of use it, but very few people need it. Mm. Maybe it's a gunblade. Uh, is it a gunblade? I think it's a gunblade. I want to use my sword no matter what, because I have too many swords. So I think we do Gunblade so that Fiora can, act, or Kaisa can actually stay alive long enough to ult multiple times. She will do infinite damage anyway. Okay, and then I'm down to do Belt on Blitzcrank and then sell him later. Uh, can Oriana fit into this comp? No, I don't think she can. I have to have three socialites, so Seraphine and Tark have to stay. Sion is way too important, Blitzcrank is way too important, Janna is way too important. And I'm pretty sure that's my whole comp. Oriana is not incredibly needed. Feels bad to say it, but I think it's true. Okay, I think we're just chilling now. Okay. Oh! Gain three loaded dice. That's a three star Scion. Oh, that's a three star Scion. Okay, I'm gonna do it now before anyone else uh, hits. Yeah, I'm gonna do it now. Okay, and then we lock. It's so funny that I'm locking a Scion 3. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm, I'm down to lock. I don't want to sell a, a really important piece. Everyone's staring. They think, oh no, let's go grief his scions. They don't know, Pepe left. They don't know. They don't know. Box box, that was so easy. What the heck? Yeah, it's because Scion has this unique property where when you load a dice him, he is incredibly likely to get himself in a loaded dice. It's it's hard to explain the math behind it, but uh it, it's Scion specifically. Uh Scion, Alawi, Camille, and Caitlin all have this property. Where when you load a dice them, you are incredibly likely to load a dice or to get yourself. So Scion, if you have three loaded dice, you are literally like on average going to get seven Scions. I will kill you all. You are on average going to get three or seven Scions from your loaded dice. So you could do this trick as, as with as little as two Scions. Although I would probably do three just to be safe. Like you see, we only we only had one extra Scion to waste. And it would have been very hard to get the last Scion. And the beauty is, it doesn't matter how much you're contested, as long as there is at least one, or um, as long as there is at least one Scion, you can get Scion. So what that means is like, when we were scouting to see if we were contested, we just sit there and we see, does anybody else have three Scions or more? At that point, it gets bad.
Yeah, at three silence or more, it would be bad. I uh, don't want to do Galio here. I might be done to do Galio. Like that. I think I'm down because we're playing around a three-star Scion. Okay, and then normally we would do uh, something for... S Wait. Okay, I'm gonna do Redemption. Dude, my Kaisa just instantly died. Uh-oh. My, my freaking Kaisa got literally one shot. I wonder if Sound 3 wins this. This talent is like really good for killing me. Oh, I, I actually lose. No, my win streak. This talent is like the perfect unit because he just like infinitely scales damage on me. Okay, wait, I'm trying to think. Can I? Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. This is the answer. There we go. That's what I needed to do. Honestly, I feel like this. <laughs> no, no, I, I think even a Kaisa one can be useful here. Oh man, losing my streak there is really bad. It's gonna be hard to get to nine now. I, I don't think I'm gonna roll for Kaisa two. It's just like way too hard to hit a level eight. Let's go nine and then put a. Uh, Brom was it Brom? No, oh, put put someone back. Why don't you social out your Scion? I uh, I think this Scion will not kill everything. I know, isn't that isn't that weird? We are literally prioritizing a Kaisa one over a Scion. It's because Scion's kit doesn't actually have the damage to kill everyone. Like we we saw just now, we actually like lost with a Scion three because my Kaisa got one shot. I'd rather just protect this. I'd rather just protect it really carefully. Uh, Kaisa, her kit just does win. Her kit does win if she stays alive. Even if she's one star. Two star just makes her like more likely to live. And kill people a little bit faster. Scion, Scion 3 is like actually not an instant game winner. I feel like the Riot devs kind of knew that you could instantly three star Scion really easily. So they made it so he's not an instant win. He's like surprisingly not strong. He has a big stun, that's it. So you still have to have a, a decent team. Oh, I'm gonna die again. Fucking assassins. No, dude, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Oh, oh my god, I cannot protect Kaisa. It's because I have a QSS instead of a GA. Maybe Scion wins. I think he wins. I think he wins. Smash, man, smash. Yeah, at least my Kaisa got more Ellos. Uh, okay, it's not even a Warmogs because he has 6,000 health. I'm pretty sure a Sunfire actually is good value here. Yeah, Sunfire is actually good here. I'm gonna do it. It sounds weird that we're like circling back to early game items, but it's the only way I can think of to give Scion an amount of damage. He's already not gonna die. Do you want a second redemption? Uh, second redemption's okay. Only part of the item scales though. If that makes sense. Only part of the item will actually do something. Uh, Cause half of redemption's value is that allies take 25% reduced damage from multi-target abilities for five seconds. So if you stack redemptions, they don't stack like that. They just stack the healing part. Do you want to Sunfire or Galio? No, I'm gonna Sunfire the Scion because he's like guaranteed to live. It, it's kind of weird, but like I, I don't think I'm gonna get a good item for Scion. Like, sure, if I get a Jeweled Gauntlet or a Hextech Gunblade Pog, but I, I don't think it's gonna happen. I'd rather just take a guaranteed decent item here. The Sunfire will apply infinite value when my Kaisa gets one shot. You have Morellos. Well, yes, the. 
The issue is that I am losing when my Kai'Sa gets one shot. And that's happening in half of these fights. So, listen. Listen, man. I'm already very strong. I'm clearly going to win the game. The only way I'm going to lose is if my Kai'Sa gets one shot and then my Scion doesn't have a way to kill everything. So now, we are simply giving Scion a way to kill things when Kai'Sa gets one shot. That, that is all. That is all I'm doing. Could I make a super tanky Scion by giving him a Dragon's Call? Yes. Is it going to matter? No, because he's going to be the last unit alive and then someone's going to kill him. He'll like die to Sunfire Burn or Morellos and then it'll be useless. If Scion's the last unit alive, even a one-star Kai'Sa will kill him. Oh yes, our game plan is simple. We protect Kai'Sa as well as we can, and then if we fail, uh, hopefully... Oh, this guy is the one who one-shot my Kai'Sa earlier. Okay, this is the guy we took uh, Sunfire for. I'm not sure if it'll win me the fight, but it'll help. Because this guy's talent actually does a lot of damage. On the bright side, someone else might kill him for me. Wait, actually, my son might do it. Oh, my son's gonna do it! Let's fucking go, it's a Sunfire diff! That's why we took the Sunfire. My Kai'Sa literally did zero damage that fight. Oh! Huh. Interesting. That's my bad. I, I should have predicted that the game would give me a, a, the 1 in 39 chance of a Sunfire cape. Yeah, I guess it's going on Galio. Now everything's going on fire. <laughs> the fire nation's gonna attack. If only these burns stacked. It'd be so funny to watch the whole world burn. Alright, I'm gonna sack one and then roll. That gives us a higher chance of hitting Galio 2. I think Galio 2 instant first place. If you put Blitzcrank on the left side, he'll grab the Assassin. That's kind of cool, but the Assassin player is dead. Well, I guess there's a Shaco player, but I'm not too scared of that guy. Alright, we level up next round, and we roll for Kai'Sa 2, Galio 2, Yumi 2. Alright, double Sunfire. Sheesh! Wow, my Kai'Sa ran into the Shaco, you dumb fuck! Kai'Sa, see me in my office after class. Alright, we are once again playing the game of will a one uh, will a three-star scion kill everything? Honestly, I think he will. I think this is a sunfire diff. It's a sunfire diff. You are nothing! It's literally like a, a raid boss. Did that scion just predict that Katarina was gonna TP there? Oh. There's no way that's the correct answer. Ha! Two-star Akali. Wait, two-star Akali is... Two-star Kali is probably better than Kai'Sa once I move these items over. I can't believe I didn't hit a single Yumi, but I hit like three Akali's. Yeah, these items aren't the best for Akali, but whatever. Wait, I'm gonna lose. Wait, never mind. Scion is Faker. It's the boss F on Faker. Uh, on Faker. On Scion. Bro. We're just going for a three star Akali. I don't want to play this Fiora. Oh, there we go. Okay, I don't I don't actually want to play that unit. I can make it Is every game from this man a tuber? I wish. I wish, man. 
Although this was kind of cool. This this could be a tuber. This one was uh, it was like an instant silent three, because of the triple loaded dice. I feel like we haven't done that trick on YouTube in a while. All right, uh, I guess a Clapio item. Is Clapio a Clapio item? Oh, I, I know what item's a Clapio item. A third Sunfire Cape! Everything's on, nah, I'm, uh, I'm taking the Hurricane. Ooh. You know what would be really funny? Okay, if we get to the finals, I'm going to, uh, I want to play two Galios. Hey, I'm just gonna do it. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. I'm gonna lose a million synergies for this, but I think it'll be really funny. Everything is gonna be knocked up. Wait, they jumped at the same time. That doesn't do anything. Oh, but they're all knocked up. This is so funny. Kais is just being chilling on the bottom left corner. Wait, the Galio brothers. You can't. You can't just jump at the same time. What? Wait, what? I didn't kill the thing. This guy's actually pretty strong. Two-star Kai'Sa, two-star Jace. All right, we'll give you the full force of our power. We'll go out, go all out just this once for you, my friend. For you. You deserve a good fight. Show me what you got. Your Tom Kench is gonna eat my Galio. Oh my god. Oh, he has an early Kench too, so he has a million items. Wow, that's actually gonna be a good fight. If he kills my Kai'Sa, I probably lose. Oh god. Nah, I win, I win. I killed this Kai'Sa. Goodbye, David. You fought well. I don't know how the hell he hit all these at level 8. That was crazy. Pog. Yeah, Pog, I always hear Pog. That's so funny. Literally, instantly, the moment we got those loaded dice, we just won the game.